<laughs> All right, guys and girls, welcome back to Crixus Plays. Um, we're gonna jump into Danganronpa 2. I love the Danganronpa series. I played the first one. Um, two came out a little bit ago. I just I've been holding on to it, waiting for when I got to get the PS TV. Um, it's a point and click, pretty much. But it's a very creepy slash cool slash crazy one. We'll just jump right in and see uh, where it takes us. I'm going to play just a bit of it. Um, this will be a series at some point. I don't know if maybe it gets a lot of good demand. It'll come faster than usual. But yeah. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, white-haired man, I can hear you. Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too, since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? I don't understand. Why am I... Here. What happened? I should try to remember that first. I began to think disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Think, 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 think. As I gathered, gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. That's right. I... I... Day. It wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. And when that long-awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way. I can't really put into words. I felt like I had just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. This school, gosh. Hope's Peak Academy. That place was so much more than a school to me. Kids who love to play baseball will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer will long to join the rep team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. Ah, uh, that university. Hope's Peak Academy is a government-funded school for, for the privileged elite of society. It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope and, in doing so, shape the future. Whenever Hope's Peak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, If you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of this school. Well, that's basically what Hope's Peak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend this school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exam at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That is how Hope's Peak Academy operates. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope Peak, Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope's Peak Academy, the school I desired more than anything else, the truth is my circumstances is a little different than that of my peers. Well, I guess I can put that aside for now. You'll find out soon enough, and it's nothing special worth talking about, I think. Anyway, 
I guess I should introduce myself first. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself. And formalities are always a little embarrassing. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. My name is Hajime Hinata. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity or a superhero. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. He's gonna regret that <laughs> very soon. That's why. To feel like a member of society. To become someone I can be proud of. Why is the screen... To... Um... For that reason alone, I always wanted to. For that reason alone, I always... Always, 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 all... Ways. Until now. I never wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why. Hope. I might have admired talent, individuality, but I have finally for forever tried my best. Finally came true. Huh? What is this? It's a door. There's a door. Still, I need to hurry. Because I need to go inside this classroom. Need? What? Need? No, I should hurry. There's a lot of people here. Very colorful bunch as well. There's a bu colorful bunch in the first game too. goes there uh. um are you feeling all right you look quite pale uh, um hey could you be you're also a freshman at the school right uh then you're all see for yourself we're all freshmen too these guys everyone the freshmen who were accepted into hope's peak academy the ultimate? I assume freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. Gathered. Hmm. Hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Uh, uh, yes, of course. Oh man, I know who he looks like. A fatter version of him, though. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called the ultimates, but they're still high school students like me. That's right. First impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident. Thus to hide my nervousness from the others and while trying my very best to act cool. I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. Anyway, what just happened earlier? I wanted to be here and then a classroom door appeared right in front of me. As if I was drawn to it. How did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. Um, excuse me. What? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here, so... Is there, like, an entrance ceremony or a homeroom happening now? Hmm. Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Discuss. All clear now. Well, since you are the last student to arrive, let's start the dis discussion. <laughs> eh? This is everyone? How do you know? <laughs> there are only 16 desks in this classroom, and this guy is the 16th student. Such ignorance. It's obvious if you bother to think about it. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that is the, who I'm thinking about, just like a fatter. And just what are we gonna talk about? The reason we're all gathered here in this classroom. First, I need to confirm something out of everyone here. Is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Eh? We all looked around at each other. A surprised look appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. I see. So before you realize it, realized it, 
You were in this classroom, then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even you stupid looking ones would agree, right? What's going on? It, it sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey! Hey, what do you mean stupid looking? So in other words... The moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness. And now you're here, and you don't know why. That is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true of all of, all of you? Th that happened to me too, but... Eh, that dizziness wasn't just me? Everyone felt the same dizziness, that's weird. It, even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Naturally. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence then? So in other words... Meaning, we can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. Who's responsible? What is it? It feels like this is going to get even stranger. Huh? I don't know what you're so worried about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal. Huh? What do you mean? So what I mean is... It's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. Huh? What do you mean we can't leave? Impossible. Eh, seriously? I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it, pull it open, but... Huh? It won't open. I can't open it. Huh? huh? Why? A little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go take a shit. But that door wouldn't budge at all! Hey! Hey! Hey, uh, what's going on? Jeez! Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. What? Eh, what do you mean you couldn't open it? Why, that's not possible. She's right, it's impossible. Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. Anyway. There's no denying that we have been locked inside this classroom. Locked inside? What do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt as though a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? M maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous. Jesus. Or perhaps, doesn't it make more sense to think that this is the entrance exam? Hey, no. bastard! Hey, fat ass! Why'd you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Hmm. I want to spoot your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you just heard was not mine. Huh? Then oh. whose is it? It's actually mine. <laughs> Who's there? Where are you? Perhaps. It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's desk? Hello. All right, I see everyone has arrived. Let's begin. Oh, God. Even more weirder than before. What is that? Um, it looks like a stuffed animal. That's right. I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal. Magical miracle girl Usami. AKA Usami. I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher. Nice to meet you all. Huh? 
Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? What's going on? Nah, I see it too. Huh? What's with this talking chihuahua? <laughs> eh, that's a chihuahua. Everyone. Does everybody here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> that's what I'm a singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot. Huh? Hold on, let me proceed this first. Okie dokie. Um. Um, what do you guys think? I I have never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. It's probably remote controlled or something. Don't act like such a pussy over a child's toy. Hmm. It, even if it's remote controlled, doesn't it look too lifelike? That's pretty advanced for a toy. Stop talking. Its movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it just Come said. It seems you know something about our current situation. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of this school trip. Did you say? S school trip? Come on. What do you mean, school trip? <laughs> a large group of students go on a chaperone trip with a lead teacher. It's the biggest event of the school year. We're not looking for such a literal answer. <laughs> now let's depart for the fun school trip. Depart? What the hell? What the hell? It's beautiful, but still. <laughs> huh? I couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, but my brain, too. The world just stopped making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set, and what appeared before me instead was blue sky, white clouds. Alright guys, I'm going to end this little short part here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, it gets crazier and weirder as we go on. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I will hopefully see you on the next part when that time comes. Bye!